final season. Oh my oh. god, I can't believe I just said that out loud. This is the last full season of Wheel of Mutt. Don't worry, there will still be a grand finale, but the last full season starts today. That means we will be hitting 78 episodes of Wheel of Mutt, if not a little more, which is a new record. Well done, gentlemen. Although technically that's not true. If I lost three straight games right now, we would be cooked, but let's just not let that happen. It's a brand new season of Wheel of Mutt, so we've got a lot to do. Let's get right into it. The most important question, who is the brand new prestige player? Now, every season of Wheel of Mutt, if I make the Super Bowl, I can prestige one new player. Prestiging a player locks them into the lineup, and I'm always entitled to the best version possible. So taking a look at our defense, you will find nobody new. We had some awesome options last season. I was thinking maybe Gold 99 tribute Aaron Donald, maybe Bo Jackson, but I didn't land on either of them. Granted, we still have some amazing prestiges over here. We've got Patrick Sertan, our Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Sertan, Super Bowl MVP, Pat Sertan. We've got Nick Bosa, Jalen Carter, Ray Lewis, and Derwin James, who all have been amazing prestigious. Each of them has a very respectable, super solid card that we can use. Which means our prestige player is on offense, and it is... Gold 99 Tribute, Jason Kelsey. This was the hardest prestige decision I've ever had, and I really did. I almost went with the Nigerian Nightmare fullback. But I'm gonna be honest, boys. This Jason Kelsey is still the most expensive card in the game, and there's a reason for that. He's basically a golden ticket at center, and he has the most ridiculously good ability stacks that you can get. There are five amazing abilities you can throw here, and he even has Vanguard, where you dominantly win impact blocks, so anytime this Kelsey would get to the second level, he'd go crazy. I'm kind of tempted to try it out. In fact, I will. Since it's Wheel of Mutt, and it's the first game of the season, we gotta try this out. Vanguard is famously the ability that Gronk and the Nigerian Nightmare have had in the past, and it's just so much fun. Granted, it's 3 AP, it's totally not worth it, you know? But since this team has nobody on it, we can afford the AP right now. Down the line, I expect to switch this. And then in the second slot, he gets Secure Protector for free. Zero AP. So we're absolutely going to use that. Secure Protector stops inside stuff from working. So you can actually run the ball against really strong inside stuff D tackles. That's why you need Secure Protector. There were a lot of great options, but Jason Kelsey, I think, is the most impactful other than Aaron Donald. Those were really the two good choices. This will be Prestige Gronk's debut as our starting tight end. Could have rocked his middle linebacker again, but I think this was the right choice here. And I actually grinded some solo challenges to get this final Rob Gronkowski upgrade token. Now, what this unlocks for us is a final ability slot where I could run either honorary lineman, impact block wins versus DBs. This is super good if you ever run your tight end at wide receiver. A little bit better is probably tank, breaking all hit stick tackles. It is one AP, but still a really fun ability. Even more importantly, though, is the double me showtime X Fact. All he needs to do is make two. 10 plus yard catches and he'll get double me. My tight ends get two 10 plus yard catches every single game. So this is a lock and I'm super excited to use it. So matchup nightmare tank and double me showtime two on prestige grown. Now next up, we have some packs to open. If you win an all Madden Super Bowl, you get a three trophy pack bundle. This is our wheel of mutt reward for winning the Super Bowl. We can kickstart this team with hopefully some really good players. So let's get this open. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't opened a lot of these, but really any position is going to help us. We have three trophy packs right here. Hopefully, we can get a few positions that'll help the squad. I'd like a halfback. Jalen Waddle. That's actually going to be really helpful. Oh, oh, that's a big playoff player. Holy Cooker. Let's go. And a Ring of Honor. So at least a 91 overall. A Ring of Honor player is 91 DJ Reader. All three of those are huge additions to this team. And that Malik Hooker, really, really good. We don't have a free safety. We have Derwin at strong safety. And I've had that Malik Hooker before. He's super solid. And we get three more players, a Sugar Rush. Jonah Williams, he's pretty mid. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna Genkai Force, Taylor Moe, 93. I like an O-line build. And one more AKA players, Tyreek Hill. Hey, we got the Speed Demon duos on Miami. All right, we got a few wide receivers to help out Jamar Chase and some O-line help. We have three final players. First one's a weekly wild card. Zay 
Okay. Zay Jones, we got a series redux, which is okay. Actually, Luke Musgrave, really good potential prestige option. He has a gold 99 and an ultimate legend. No linebacker, Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> this card is so stupid. This card is so stupid. Okay. Hey, hey, he's going to be a great user, though. He really is. Hey, spectacular help to this team. Let me load these into the lineup. We're 78 overall right now. So let's see how much this can help. Dude, this was a massive help to this team. We're rocking an 85 overall. That is a, not a bad way to start this out. Let me show you what we got. So number one, Taylor Moten gets identifier for one AP. So that's actually really nice. Right now, we're not using it on Jason Kelsey because we're using Vanguard, but we can use it on Moten. Luke Musgrave, great backup tight end. If we get a pack a punch, we could take him to gold 99. Also, if we got a pack a punch, we could get 99 Tyreek or 99 Jalen Waddle. So we have some amazing options. Jalen Waddle is benched right now because Tyreek Hill and Zay Jones were both a little bit better. Uh, and then Jamar Chase is our wide receiver one. So I'm not going to lie, our, our wide receivers still aren't that great, but it's a great budget start. Backfield is still all silvers. And defensively, I've actually had this Malik Cooker on Wheel'em Up before. He was great. He's boosted to a 95, needed a free safety. We've still got Derwin James. Jonah Williams and DJ Reader complete the D-line. Now these Ring of Honor 91s are so funny because they are loaded with abilities. The only problem is you can't deactivate any of them. So right now I have DJ Reader activated with a ridiculous stack of defensive rally, enforcer supreme, inside stuff, interior threat, and double or nothing. The only problem is he's 4 AP, but those abilities for 4 AP is kind of crazy. So we'll use him for now. As this team progresses, it's, it's not going to work out. But Collinsworth, this is actually probably the nicest pickup. Chris Collinsworth is a 95 speed, 93 excel, 95 hit power, 6 foot 5 MLB with Lurk Artist. And he's, he's a beautiful user. Now, obviously, Collinsworth is supposed to be a wide receiver. They give him this out of position card for God knows why. He's a little undersized, like weight wise. He's 192. So he may be getting bowled over by some bigger running backs, but he's a great villain middle linebacker. Now, the most important thing here is we haven't taken any wheel spins. So these are just free cards to help this lineup. We are still all silvers at outside linebacker, mostly silvers at corners, all silvers at our guard, and the scariest part here is a full silver backfield. Now, the last thing we can do before we kick off the season is spin the team wheel. That's going to determine our playbooks, our jerseys, our stadium, our head coach, and one team captain of our choice. Last season was Detroit Lions. This season is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. So we're running it back in the NFC. We'll have Falcons. Oh my God, I have Arthur Smith. Arthur Smith is my coach, y'all. Hey, Atlanta Falcons season is the final full season. Let me get this together and then we can decide our team captain. All right, boys, Arthur Smith, Falcons closed stadium. We had the base light unis and then I do have the 2010s classic alternate jerseys. So I'm pretty excited about those. Falcons offense and defense. Now in my time playing Madden, I have used Falcons offense before. I kind of like it. I've never used Falcons defense. Defense. It's considered a hybrid defense. I don't know anything about it, so we're gonna find out. Now, since we're the Atlanta Falcons, we can choose one of any Atlanta Falcons player to add to this team as our team captain. <laughs> I think you might have an idea of who I'm going with. So if we sort 98 to 99 Falcons, there's Perk Thuggins, 98 overall. There's a 98 Brian Finneran. There's a 98 D'Angelo Hall. There's a 98 John Abraham. There's a 98 Bud Dupree. Falcons have a plethora of players. They've even got a 98 prime time, but when there's a goal, Gold 99 staring you in the face. You kind of got to take it. Gold 99, ring of honor. Improviser quarterback, Michael Vick. 99 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw on the run, 99 deep accuracy. And I'm not going to lie, last season, we went all the way to the bowl with Warren Moon. As much as I love Warren Moon, I would kind of like to use a meta quarterback. So this is like the perfect juxtaposition. Oh my God, plethora juxtaposition. Your favorite YouTuber could never. Your boy Pizza is finishing kindergarten math right now. Are you shitting me? In all reality, here is our Atlanta Falcons team captain. Let me go over this card and the abilities. So, escape artist ring of honor. Improved scrambling speed when leaving the pocket. And guess what? Now, to activate it, you have to rush for 10 plus yards two times. But I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty sure this just starts the game activated. On top of that, he gets evasive baked into the card for zero AP. He gets gunslinger for zero AP. He gets master technician for one AP. This is a very new ability. Master Technician is faster and bonus hot routes and quick playmaker reactions. So it's Conductor, which is faster hot routes. It's Hot Route 
Master, which is bonus hot routes, and Quick Playmaker Reactions is, I think it's called Playmaker, something like that. This is three abilities in one for one AP. It's disgusting how good that is. And then of course, Set Feet Lead. This increases the throw power when leading bullet passes. It increases the velocity at which the ball travels. Gunslinger increases the velocity of your actual animation. You guys understand the difference? It took me a while to figure it out. So he gets all of that for two AP. It's so busted. So we'll be starting this season with a gold 99 quarterback and I couldn't be more excited about it. Defensively, no gold 99s yet, but I'm sure we'll be able to get a hold of somebody. Let's get it, boys. Hey, thank you so much for all the support. I love you guys so much. If I ever have the pleasure of meeting you in person, please come up and say hi. I promise I'll say what's up. I haven't, oh, this is a classic. Dude, this is an OG classic. I haven't got the push-ups one in a while. Oh, I just did chest today, guys. No, I swear to God, guys, I bench. Oh, I was just maxing 245 today. Oh, shit. This is gonna be tough. All right, however many push-ups I can do without stopping times 10,000 coins is what we can spend on one player here. I can just do, if I can just do 90, we can buy gold 99 Todd Gurley. It's that simple. <laughs> I swear. Guys, it really was chest day today. No, I'm serious. I really did chest today, guys. 46. By the way, if you don't think that form was accurate, don't worry. This upcoming Friday night, I'll be spending the entire night with your mother. Come knock on the door so long as it's not locked, and uh, you can teach me better form. Hey, that's a generous wheel spin, though, because 46 push-ups times 10K is 460,000 coins to spend on one player. Honestly, like, I really do want Gold 99 Todd Gurley. That's one of my favorite running backs in the game right now. I think the card art on the draft card is just beautiful. But that doesn't mean it's who we have to get. All right, what are our options? So we got this goofy Burt Reynolds card. You got Raheem Mostert. DeMarco Murray would be kind of fun. I like DeMarco Murray. There's a 98 Saquon. I love Saquon. Actually, that's our only options. If I had done 56 push-ups, I could have afforded the gold 99 Dickerson, who's probably the best running back in the game. And then Todd Gurley is, is 900K. I don't know. I, I kind of like Saquon. 98 Saquon has a hard 99 speed with 97 Excel. Ooh, that's a beautiful card. The Saquon will get a Evasive and tank for one AP. That's kind of what I was looking for. I think Saquon's got to be our guy. And we only needed 40 push-ups for him. So we exceeded what we needed for Saquon. Nice work, boys. All right, 98 overall weekly wildcard Saquon Barkley. I'm not crazy about the card art. I had to switch this around. So 99 speed. Gonna give him Freight Train, my favorite ability. Now, Backyard Half Pack. Honestly, a really good ability, but I have Master Technician, which gives him both of these things. He gets faster playmaker from Master Technician and bonus hot routes from Master Technician. So that's why that Vic is so good. Ironically, this is who Tiki Barber was talking shit to. And Tiki Barber was our halfback last season. Saquon, you're dead to me. Keep in mind though, I do have to win this upcoming game to keep this Saquon. And winning this game is always the toughest. So let's see what we can do before our second wheel spin here. Get another 98, boys. So no gold 99s on Ring of Honor. I can take any of the 98s. Now, there is actually a pretty good idea that we can do here. Michael Vick has these Ring of Honor chemistries, which boost his teammates. So if I went with Brian Finneran or D'Angelo Hall, Michael Vick is gonna give them a huge boost. Finneran would get strength, agility, and acceleration. D'Angelo Hall would get awareness, play rec, and man coverage. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of want Finneran, but I definitely need D'Angelo Hall more. We have Patrick Sertan as our sole corner. I think I gotta go D'Angelo Hall. Now, technically, I could take any of the 98 overall Ring of Honor, so I don't have to go with a Falcon, but it just makes sense. This is definitely the right decision. 98 overall D'Angelo Hall. He is 5'10". He's a bit short for a corner, but I'm over it. 320,000 coins, he's gonna get a boost for Michael Vick, and presumably has really nice abilities. 98, D'Angelo Hall. Let's see these abilities here. Hopefully, deep out zone KO. Ask and you shall receive. Deep out zone KO for one. Pick artists or mid zone for zero. You know, I've heard crazy good thing. I'm gonna go mid zone. I've heard people say that mid zone activates when it has no business activating, so I'm rocking it. All right, CB2 will be D'Angelo Hall. He's boosted to a 99 with that Vick boost. That's kind of what I expected. That sticks us at a 90 overall with one wheel spin left. I don't really know what's the most important position to fill right now. CB3 is a huge liability. Both my linebackers, outside linebackers, are huge liabilities. A top 18 sets player sorted by overall. This is actually such an insane wheel spin. We have, we have two 98s and potentially a gold 99 on the line in the first episode. We can choose one out of these 18 players. Deardorf, Ocho Cinco, Boz Gronk, Asamwa Bradshaw, Megatron, Derek Brooks, Waddle Hill, Reynolds Reigns, Ramsey, Rousseau, Ferguson, Joseph, Linderbaum, Wilson. Dude, I so 
badly want gold 99 Garrett Wilson. Like that's actually what I want the most. It just doesn't make sense right now. Solidify insane corners by going gold 99 Ramsey. Or we could build the outside linebackers with Derek Brooks. Probably should build the outside linebackers right now, right? Derek Brooks has Lurk Artist baked in and then we're just rocking a silver corner. But I can't rock two silver linebackers. I think I gotta go Derek Brooks, boys. This is such a tough decision, but I'm not gonna lie, boys. I got a lot of legends. And sometimes I get freaked out having too many legends. I want gold 99 Jalen Ramsey. Nobody's gonna bomb us over the top. And you know what? Silver linebackers suck, but at least I can't get one play touchdown on. We can slowly over time hope that he makes mistakes. That's what I'm hoping. By taking gold 99 NFL draft Jalen Ramsey, who's six foot one with 98 speed. Dude, these wheel spins were cracked today. Oh my goodness. 98, 98, 99. That's how you kick off a season. Hey, it's all for nothing if we don't win today. On the line is 98 Saquon Barkley, 98 D'Angelo Hall, and gold 99 Jalen Ramsey. Gonna upgrade Ramsey here. His deep route KO bench press and pick artist. Not super excited about these, but I'll take it. I'm more of a zone KOs guy, but totally fine. Happy to have Ramsey on this team. All right, boys. I think we're ready for our first game. Our top five players. Jalen Ramsey, who looks like Gronk right now. D'Angelo Hall, who also looks like... Okay, what's going on? Fix that, please. Yes, Ramsey and D'Angelo Hall are, are cosplaying. They gave up their N-word pass or something. They gave it to that guy we played two games ago. All right, I'm done. Vic, Ramsey, Hall, Sertan, and Saquon Barkley. We're represented by the Falcons, the Jaguars, the Broncos, and I guess the Eagles now, technically. Before we start this brand new season, of course, the challenge wheel, probably the most important challenge wheel of the season is right here. It's 100. You know, this is actually an awesome challenge now that we have Vic because it's 150 plus rushing yards as a team. So Saquon could go for 75 and Vic could go for 75 and we complete this. All right, all men, regular season, a fully wiped moment right here. Let's get after this game. Mr. Do Too Much, we're gonna have a Michael Vic. We're gonna have a Michael Vic off here. He's got the Sun God, probably my favorite card in this game. I love that Amon Ra. We got the 2010s alternates too. I love these jerseys. Collinsworth and Lewis. Oh no, he's gonna be running the ball, isn't he? It's gonna go with a handoff, Chris Collinsworth. Yeah, we're not stopping the run like that. There's Jalen Carter, there's Nick Bosa, here's Ray Lewis. He is chewing clock from the very first play of the game. He's gonna snap that with one second. Please don't do this all game, buddy. Come on. Um, He is actually, unironically, chewing clock from the very first snap of the first quarter. Now, I understand chewing the clock at the end of quarters or at the end of the game as a strategic advantage. I don't understand this. And he rifles one to Brandon Ayuk, a very nice pass, and he gets down to the 30. All right, first and 10. He's going back to the stretch. Every time he stretches, he's guaranteeing that the clock keeps ticking. Stretch run again. Your YouTube is Mr. Do Too Much, buddy. I think you do too little. Oh, he goes with an RPO. We're there. Fourth and two. Come on, baby. I like that. I like that defense. Whip route, whip route, bagged. Come on, baby. You burned four minutes to turn the damn ball over. Let's go. I smelled that whip route and he panicked. Ray Lewis is all over Mike Vick. That felt real good. So Mr. Do Too Much started with the football, which means I'm getting it at half. Luckily, we have Jason Kelsey, a secure protector, so I can run behind him. Now, granted, ooh, Saquon! Saquon! Saquon Barkley! Is that out of stamina? You're tired? You're tired? You just touched, you just touched the field! Oh my god, Saquon with 53 yards at the gates, but he got fatigued on the opener? How are you fatigued? That was a nasty run there. I'm so shocked that he ran out of stamina, though. That was so weird. Nice debut, Saquon. No one's gonna complain about that. Mike Vick gets smacked by Warren Sapp. Nothing going there. Third and 10. Damn. I don't know what happened on the left side. That was, we just got dominated on every play there. I will take my goal. I have a little bit better excuse now because we have a silver guards. So they're just kind of getting dominated, but wow, he got through fast on all of those. Mr. Do too much. Oh my God. We just committed a crime. That was assault. I think three different. Oh my God. He's about to get smoked too. All right. Wait a minute. I'm surprised we didn't come down with that ball though. I was passing and I, and he's not shooting clock. He gets a nice throw there into Gronk. Third and six. Oh, silly me. He is still chewing clock. That's just karma, buddy. It's just karma. 
You realize that Super Bowl MVP? Ah! You realize that Super Bowl MVP, Pastor Tan, right? That's not just your average corner. That guy won Super Bowl MVP. Well, we need rushing yards. I mean, a couple of QB sneaks with Vic. Also, if you notice, he does have Escape Artist activated. There is no way that I. Oh, okay. So for ten plays, you get that Escape Artist. Right? He is not ready for the QB sneak. Mr. Do too little, bud. Oh, what a bar. Mr. Do less chewing clock. Mr. Do more if you want to win. Mr. I'm doing your mom. Okay, I'm sorry. Literally none of those were good. Zay Jones, whip route maniac. Oh, Zay Jones, the little diving. All right, he's got a skate artist on his Vic, but Derwin and Sertan are lit up right now. So we've got X Factors to match. Collinsworth, don't you throw this to Gronk. Hey, get home, boys. All right, like, it just doesn't even make sense to chew clock at this point. Oh, nice ball. Wait, I could get an avalanche. Oh, I wanted it so bad. Like, too greedy. It doesn't make sense to chew clock now. Now you're losing by two possessions. So I just don't get it. I'm going to go on Derwin for the run here. I think it's a stretch. Oh, it's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm on position. Good ball into the Comet. He's out of bounds. He gets the first. First and 10. No touchdowns. Goal line stand. Damn it. That is so open. Nice tackle. He's kind of moving this ball, though. Okay, I'm dropping a few guys into zones in one QB spot. I don't want Vic taking off on me. Oh, my God. That's exactly... What? Buddy, I literally... Watch this QB spy. Watch 92. He walks right up, and as soon as he gets near Vic, he glitches out. He, like, engaged in a phantom block. All right, well, he's got to go for two. That's the good news. Oh, it's a design... Oh, what a fucking play. That's beautiful. I'm not mad about that. Nice play. He was on Tariq Woolen. Blitz it. Oh, that's a bad ball, Matt! Oh, no. I did not see it. I thought Crowder was gonna sit down and wait. Oh, my God. Just like that in this game. It's 15 to 11. We still need our rushing yards. I need something simple to throw. Let me see if there's a decent RPO in this playbook. I just gotta get something right now. Gronk's blocking, so I like that. Interesting. He went on Woolen as if he knew what that play was, but he clearly didn't. All right, hey, we completed a pass. That's, a that's the first time we completed a pass to him. Oh, wow, well, just about to hit RB. His offensive line is crumbling. I think I know what to hit. Exactly. Luke Musgrave. Good. Fourth and three. I just have to go no huddle, and I need to shut up and play. Musgrave, whip route. What a fucking ball from Vic. I honest, I had so much pressure on me and Vic still made that. That's huge. 92 Luke Musgrave beating the press, man. Easy check down to Saquon. We gotta score with no time left and then get ball half. Take the lead and then get ball half. I would love to get uh, rushing yards here, but I think they'd have to be with Vic on something like very free. What the fuck? Why are you so much faster than Michael Vic? Oh, I had multiple things in the last one. Fourth and 12, gotta make a laser throw here. Oh my God, he leaves it. What are you doing? Nine seconds on the clock, on the 28, one timeout. Oh my fucking God, what a free form. Oh, you're lying! Oh, I put it over his head! It was a dot, I would have had five seconds from the 10 and a timeout. Ass. Sucks. Really unlucky. Shit, man. That was such a dot. I freeformed it over his corner so he couldn't jump up and lurk it. I'm going to bring this back left side. Hopefully Aaron Donald doesn't totally blow it up. Oh, he doesn't. He won't switch on. Saquon down the sideline again. Deja vu. He was still on his feet for that. Saquon's got two for 80. Oh, my goodness. I think I just got to stick to the ground game, you know? Although, partially, I feel like it's a bit fluky because, like, I don't have the abilities to be running like this. It's just kind of working. Hey, let's stick to it. Let's try. Let's go inside zone. Let's find out if it's fluky. <laughs> this Saquon is turning dog shit into gold. These are not open running lanes, and he's finding a way. Great job. All right, I'm going to go stretch again. Oh my God, Saquon, I love you. This man's gonna fumble though. He's gotta be so gassed. Four rushes at 97 yards. We gotta be close to the challenge wheel too. The challenge wheel could be huge if I can't come, come home with this W. Right now though, I'm in field goal range. And since I'm in field goal range, I can take the lead right now. So we can't do anything. Oh my God, he's off sides. I got a freebie. I'll throw it anywhere. Dropped it, but whatever. That's a free play. You gotta throw it like that on a free play. All right, first and five. Look at the dot. Beautiful. 
Jamar Chase get down, down to the five. Somehow it's first and five. What? I'm on the five yard line. How was it first and five? It, it, okay, it's supposed to be saying first and goal, right? I don't have a first down opportunity, right? First and five. Saquon up the middle. Vanguard. Vanguard from Kelsey just flattened his user. That was beautiful. But my guards couldn't hold up the blocks. Oh my God, that Kelsey Vanguard was beautiful. Second and goal. I want a QB sneak, but I'm a little worried about Armstead. Nobody even tried there, honestly. Like, what are we doing? I don't have the personnel for it, honestly, Matt. Matt, you're being greedy. You do not have the personnel for that. All right, I'm looking at this RPO, but it's a little too sketchy for me. I'm gonna max protect. I'm gonna put Gronk on the whip. Absolutely. He has double me, too. That Gronk just activated his double me, which we were talking about, so I really could have aggroed that, and I don't think it would have mattered. But once again, the whip route comes in huge. We need a two-point conversion here. I'm gonna do something similar. I just gotta look at Gronk. Even if he's covered, he's just so money to catch the ball here. He's covered. Doesn't fucking matter. Holy shit, Gronk. Coming up big right now. 22 to 15. I currently have two touchdowns, two two-point conversions, and two field goals. I'm glad we're taking our points, not being greedy. Now, I have a bad tendency of being greedy. Always trying to get the touchdown when I could take the, take the field goal, you know. But we've been smart these last couple games. It's paid off for us. Hopefully, it'll pay off today. Second and nine. Does he go check down again? No. He doesn't have anything. I was faking this. Oh, we almost took a smack from Derwin. Really like cover two here, but... Oh, Ramsey comes out for a big hit, but doesn't break it up. Nice catch. All right, he's back to the stretch, and he's back to chewing clock. I'm gonna hop on Derwin. Waits till one second's on the clock. Loses the yard. Feels good. Oh, good ball, good catch. Malik Hooker is only a 94. He got burnt by 98 Gronk. Nice play. Hey, I know how good the 98 Gronk is. I can't say anything. It's left. It's so bad. Great defense, you guys. Uses the whole clock. It's actually an RPO. Ooh, big hit, Sir Tan. That's what I like. Sir Dominance, third and eight. Gets it outside to the Comet, Chris Collinsworth. Collinsworth's been showing up today. I like you, Collinsworth. If only we had Mahomes at quarterback. He boosts all of Mahomes' stats by plus 10 from meat riding so hard. Is this the RPO again? Fourth and four. No. Nice First and goal. It's getting down to it, boys. Everybody thinks this is a blitz. Panic throw. Come on, buddy. We're on it. Collinsworth! Michael Vick fumbled and just picked up his own fucking fumble. Oh, great play, Collinsworth. Great play. I'm not mad about it. That's just unlucky. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, I didn't need the fumble anyway. The fumble was a bailout for me, right? There's a whip route, Gronk. I have it bagged. He's going to step up with Vick and get rocked. Oh, I need a bigger hit. He took himself down, though. Third and goal. He's burning clock, but this is like, this is not an opportunity where you burn clock. Panic. Panic. Panic! Let's go! He had someone. I'm gonna beat his man coverage. It's fourth and goal from the six. We can put it all away right here. I'm gonna go with the same defense, but it's disguised. He thinks it's the same thing, but it's not. This one's all pass. What? What? Collinsworth! What are you doing? He threw it right at your face. Oh my God, what happened? He wasn't blitzing. He was in a QB spy. Why did Collinsworth take off like he was blitzing? Oh, that's criminal. That was so bagged. I had two dudes on that. And at 54, 22 to 22. And buddy, I'm gonna teach you something. I'm gonna teach you why chewing clock the entire game is a really bad decision. First and 10, stretch Saquon. Lots of room and some good blocks. That was a block from middle linebacker Collinsworth on offense, who did just completely sell on defense. So yeah, it's about time you made up for it, buddy. Bringing this left side with, oh my God, Kelsey. Vanguard Kelsey. Seven rushes, 128 yards from Saquon all by himself. He now has Freight Train activated. And I think our opponent is understanding why you shouldn't shoot clock the entire game. Because now there's only under a minute left. There's Gronk. Powers forward. Second and four with 40 seconds left. I think we are in field goal range here. Why the fuck would you chew clock? The entire game just to lose like this. It's over. It's over. Ball carrier conservative. Saquon can coast this game out. It's a 49-yard field goal from Bucker to win it. This is exactly why you don't chew clock the entire game. You have literally ran yourself out of clock. Also, I have to be so dangerously close to the challenge wheel. So if we can get it right here, that would be awesome. I don't really... Oh, I actually could. Oh my God, I actually could. I might have... <gasps> 
153 yards on 10 carries. That is a legacy game from Saquon, and he just single-handedly got the challenge wheel. Oh my God, Saquon Barkley. We have focus kicker. We don't need full power, so we can keep the meter nice and slow. Slap it on A, put it through. Let's go. Oh my God, that was a horrifying game. That was a horrifying game. Hey! The Better Bird team wins. Atlanta Falcons and Arthur Smith get their first dub against the Philadelphia Eagles. What a way to open the season. It was horrifying. Dude, I did not play a good game as a passer. I just wasn't a good passer today. That pick six was stupid, but I tell you what. If I have 10 rushes for 153 yards, I'm winning every single game. 15.3 average for our brand new Saquon. Two broken tackles. It's just a monster game. Gronk was four for 40. He had some really clutch plays. He did. Vanguard Jason Kelsey is kind of insane. Can we talk? about that dude he was flattening people seven pancakes might be saying that our best defensive player probably was chris collinsworth other than when he sold that one i really want to see what he did there though. oh wow they don't have the replay and the touchdown i'm shocked by that to be honest but it was an amazing game yeah this was my worst mistake here so he wasn't using channing crowder here so i thought channing crowder was just gonna sit in that zone but when i unloaded this ball he reacted really well like that's exactly what he's supposed to do i don't know why i'm throwing that ball it's just stupid i should playmaker him there i should playmaker saquon like up into the right a little bit maybe try and fit in a window or i just hit 88 look at how open he is just a bad play so as a team we had 154 rushing yards which is more than 150 by the way huge ggs to my opponent that was an awesome game he played a great game we just barely squeaked it out honestly like if he was not chewing the clock the whole game he probably could have won like easily there would have been so much so much more to do I, I just i don't get it but hey 25 to 22 sneak out a dub in the season opener oh my god i just actually unlocked the competitive justin jefferson like i actually earned it i don't really get cards like this very often i have been on my on my mud head to head i've been really good i'm like three straight super bowls right now wow that was a beautiful game gentlemen and challenge wheel complete is so big for a team that's kind of decimated right now we get one pack of our choice from the store and hey look jalen ramsey and jansel hall showed up that looks a lot cooler like that look at that one pack of our choice from the store there's an nfl draft pack eh, 291 pluses triumph pack is an 88, a 90, and a 92. Let's run a Triumph Elite pack. Looking for a left or right guard. Starting with a series of Redux. Ooh. It's a huge wide receiver upgrade. It's the wide receiver we had last season and pack a punchable. So I can pack a punch him into 98. Great start. 94, Randy Moss. Jonathan Bullard does not help us at all. So that's a wash right there. Next one is could play at left guard or right guard. Denzel Ward is a wash. Okay, although he has a gold 99 pack-a-punch. He has some good pack-a-punch options here. All right, gentlemen, that's a beautiful game and a beautiful start to the season. 92 overall, Atlanta Falcons season, the final full season of Wheel of Mutt. We're off to a great start. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.